The vibe of coming back to stream after going to hastily get water just to see TK saying Hangs with legs. I have killed the conversation. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. I wasn't supposed to transform screens, but it's fine. It's fine. Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. Hope you all are doing well today. I, um, I am doing it dumb because apparently I forgore to set this up so it actually displays where it's online. There we go. That's much better. <laughs> I haven't touched the game since we last played on stream, and, um, we got some Iron Doll. And no money whatsoever. <laughs> so, I guess I guess we got our work for today cut out for us, huh? Watching outside on my porch today, cause it's nice out, and I just got out of school. Get just got off school on my last day before March break, though I. would Get in the swing of things with the stream and photons from the high. Oh, thought, not though. <laughs> Words. Is that a train? No, it's a car, you dingus. A Santa Fe Doodlebug arrived. Ooh, nice, nice. Now I need to find a Santa Fe Pullman for it. Oh god, that reminds me. <laughs> Last night, I don't know where I... Oh, I remember where I saw the photo. I saw a photo of a passenger train that was a an RPO. A narrow-gauge passenger train. That was a baggage RPO and a coach, and I kind of really want to paint up a baggage RPO and a coach now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a perfect little two-car passenger train. <laughs> I 
Hello, K Kid. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. I'm doing well today. I'm doing all right. <clears throat> Just getting started. Planning on going to the main Narrow Gauge Museum for my 21st birthday, but they told me, oh, they don't have a set schedule on when they'll use the two footers. No. That would be an awesome birthday, though, going out. <laughs> Riding behind, like, WWNF number 7 or something like that. I'd love to do that. Trying to use night vision goggles when oh, all they do is make everything grayscale. <laughs> I'd rather have a headlamp, but you get what you can do during the zombie apocalypse. <clears throat> that is actually a good question. Would you rather see only a small portion of what's ahead of you, or would you rather see everything in grayscale? It's like one of those would you press the button questions. Cat, I don't like it. Please stop standing in front of my microphone. <laughs> do you know anything about dirt bikes? I do not. <clears throat> the most I know about cars is that they exist. <laughs> I'm not much of a car person or, or a, a tired vehicle person. Kitty. <laughs> uh, is it me or is this turntable turning pretty slowly? I I don't know, I feel like this is turning slower than it normally would. What's up with that? <laughs> Loot Goblin. Uh, that, is, that is such a perfect term, 100. And I am stealing it, and I'm using it in every Dungeons and Dragons campaign whenever somebody doesn't use a healing potion when they really should have. <laughs> Oh, I remember how I got around to seeing the passenger train that was a um, an RPO and a coach. I was trying to figure out how big the way cars are. Because they picked up some in 0 and 30. They picked up some of these way cars. It, well, okay, not some of these in particular, but like... You know the variant that, was, that they made that had a cupola? Where they just updated, they modernize this and add a cupola to that? Yeah, we got one of those in 0 and 30. <laughs> do you DM, sir? Uh, I do not. I haven't played Dungeons and Dragons in like five years. <laughs> I, I really need to. It's fun, but I just I haven't had the time or mo motivation. I love how we have the, these two spots that are perfectly fit for Durian, and she's currently just sitting on top of a computer. 
a computer on the other side of the room that I don't even use anymore. <laughs> but that's where she's chosen to sit. So your cat's name is Sturian. Like the fruit. If you ever do DM, make the bosses arrow race so the players can't seduce them to win. Now what you gotta do is you gotta get that one video of congratulations, you just seduced a dragon, and then just play that. <laughs> a little sketch of the guy talking about like, yeah, you're part of the dragon's horde now, I hope you don't mind making a new character, start rolling for them stats, buddy, cause this guy is not leaving here alive. <laughs> Will you press the button? You get a full five gallon bucket ma of mac and cheese, but you die if you don't eat it all in one sitting? Well, why would you press the button? <laughs> all you get out of it is mac and cheese. And don't get me wrong, mac and cheese is good, but five gallons in one sitting? It's a lot of food to get through, but <laughs> man. Playing with any rule sets for this playthrough, uh, we are playing with a loose set of Steel Pegasus. So basically, uh, <clears throat> I, I can do whatever I want, but I'm going to try and keep trains to eight cars long. Going to try to make this my strongest engine. I'll probably try out the um, the new big engine that they've got. Limited number of cars. <laughs> trains have to be facing forward, etc., etc. I should probably update the website. I should pro <laughs> There have been a lot of new things added to the game, and I should probably update the rules for Steel Pegasus. I rolled the seduce the dragon. Okay, roll. Nat 20. All right. Jar time. <laughs> yeah, basically, that's what the entire video is, and I love it. And if anybody ever tries to seduce a dragon and somehow succeeds, that's what I'm pulling out. <laughs> Two cats, all lucky. I used to have two cats, uh, Hestia and Pearl, but Pearl and Hestia got in a lot of fights. Eventually, they, they started being good friends, but at first, they just got into a lot of fights. Uh, eventually, Pearl somehow escaped the house and ran away, and we never saw her again. I know that idea for a paper mill for roads and line a few live streams ago. I got a few ideas for products from paper mill being writing paper, newsprint, and cardboard. Newsprint would be really interesting. Supplying newspapers via, um... <laughs> Supplying newspapers to the local towns via the RPO. That could be a cool idea.
<laughs> Medusa shows up in a D&D campaign. The max level bard. I'm going to be hard as stone. In more ways than one. Oh, uh, God. DK, that just reminds me of a writing prompt that I started and I never finished. <laughs> it was, um... I don't remember what the exact wording was, but it was something along the lines of basically... You're blind. You can't figure out why this kind- nobody else wants to talk to this kind lady, nor why she has so many statues. <laughs> One reason I have four different guns, my main gun is, gun is almost out of ammo. This just gives me flashbacks to FTL faster than light. Where I always refuse to use missiles because I'm always afraid of that happening. It never happens when I use missile weapons. But <laughs> I'm always afraid of running out of ammunition and not being able to beat the final boss. The Cook Mogul, a wonderful. Dude, I, I love the Cook Mogul. It's such a good looking engine. <laughs> it's so pretty. It also does help a little bit that, you know, I, I have the ON30 version of this, which is slightly bigger. It's not the same as the Cook Mogul. It has a little more tractive effort and a larger smoke box. But it, it definitely helps that I've got some similarity in real life, but I just, I, I've loved this engine since I started playing the game. <laughs> I really don't like the UI for Roads and Land now. What are your thoughts? Uh, I dislike. I do not like the engine driving UI. It is way... There's so much going on here, a lot of information, a lot of messy overlap that could be fixed out, cleaned out. I like, like, track building. I like the track laying stuff. But I do not like the engine driving UI right now. Having a weird day on my Gary's Mod Railroad. I have a Union Pacific F7A, but it had a crash recently where it fell off a viaduct. It's currently in the works, waiting for some new bogey wheel sets. <clears throat> Apparently, the new bogey sets have buffers, but the <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> it's gonna be a sight to see. A buffered F7. <laughs> I have a question, what's your favorite... What's your fave or Canada steam locomotive? I don't know Canadian steam locomotives well enough. <clears throat> so, good question. <laughs> a failure to answer question, but good question. Oh, U.S. or... Hmm. I think right now it's Pulsa number two. Just due to the history my father has with it, even if it's not really, like, a very significant history. He's got a nice little cute history. It's a cute engine. I like it. It's a good old logging mic has itself a wild history. Surprised that the boxcar in game hasn't been updated to load gold ore, as back in the day boxcars were loaded with high grade gold ore due to the fear of it being stolen by robbers while being trans shipped by rail. It, oh, that's a fascinating detail, and I'm also surprised that they didn't do that. Because Grain 
They went out of their way to do the grain stuff. Why... <laughs> why not, um... Why not gold, too? That would have been a fun sight to see. <laughs> it would also be really funny seeing somebody bringing, like, 70 different boxcars. <laughs> 70 boxcars up to the gold mine. <laughs> Do knuckle couplers work yet, or are they still just the junk loop and pin? They're still link and pin. No working knuckles. I don't think we're going to be getting working knuckles for a long time. Hello, sheep. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. This is your second live stream today. <laughs> Quick, let me let me end the stream and restart it just so we can say we've got a third live stream. Three live streams, one day. <laughs> Have you heard about the two Reading Railroad 484s being restored? I have not, no. 21, ooh, 2100 is being brought back to run. 2101 is getting just a cosmetic restoration. I know nothing about these engines. <laughs> but I recognize the number because I know the whistle. Because I really like the whistle uh, on 2101. <laughs> It's kind of sad that it's not getting restored, but hey, at least it's getting a cosmetic restoration, and at least one of her sisters getting a, um, a little bit of love. Two is running on the remnant RBM. Oh, it might have. Okay, maybe I heard the whistle of 2102. I don't remember. <laughs> it was either 2101 or 2102. I don't recall. But one of those two. One of those two. Twenty one hundred is gonna be the AT AFT two fifty when it gets done. Same guy who planned the first Freedom Train is hoping to ooh, hoping to do a second one in twenty twenty six. That's exciting. Wait, is twenty one hundred the one that was is at the B and O museum, or is that a different one? It's probably a completely different engine that I'm being dumb. Twenty one oh okay, twenty one oh one's the one at the museum. Alright, alright. Dude, when I went out to the B and O Museum, that thing was in such bad condition. I'm, I'm really glad to hear that they're fixing it up, because, oh my god, the years of being outside did not do any wonders to that poor engine. Twenty one oh two is already out and pulling freight ex and excursions up and down the Reading line has been for a while. That would explain why I probably heard twenty one oh two uh the whistle for twenty one oh two. Cause I heard it from a TCS WoW sound decoder. And TCS prides themselves in actually going out and recording the engines. 
the the actual locomotives on site. Gondol looks so much more detailed than everything else. I mean, it is the most recent model we've got access to. So I wouldn't be surprised if it looks a little bit better than the previous stuff we have. Another thing with the boxcars being loaded with gold ore and also the fear of being stolen, there was problems with gold ore during the winter with it freezing solid when gold ore is shipped wet. <laughs> hey honey, can you de-thaw the gold ore please? <laughs> Just throw it in the microwave for like five minutes. It's kind of funny, though. I wonder why people were concerned about it getting frozen when, like, it was just going to go in a smelter anyways. I don't know. That just seems a little bit silly to me. <laughs> Defrost the gold. Exactly. Defrost the gold, baby. <laughs> They even know what defrosting is back in that era. <laughs> the bogey wheel sets arrived and have been installed. The F7, however, cannot round bends due to the wheel sets being welded onto the locomotive. No hinge pin to move around on a curve. So it's like one of those really stupid Christmas ornaments that technically have working wheels, but don't have you can't turn at all, so you just push them back and forth. <laughs> I have no clue why I have such a vivid memory of this. <laughs> It's like one of those Lionel ornaments that they used to make. Hey, Wes. Hey, Max. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Maybe throw in a little bit of chili with the defrosting gold to provide something soft. <laughs> to put the crunchy gold inside. Ah, uh, yes. The new delicacy for for all you hip, trendy people. Stop spending money on avocado toast. Start spending it on gold-laced chili peppers. <laughs> oh, that sounds like an Onion article. <laughs> Hello, Caden. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream.
Not a gold laced chili pepper, a straight up gold laced chili. You're eating a soft bean, <laughs> and suddenly your tooth is broken by a gold a chuck of gold ingot. Hey, well the good news is is that if you want any golden fillings after breaking your teeth, the gold is right there. <laughs> Ready to go. <laughs> Hey, D14, welcome to the stream, welcome to the stream. Started the big task of remaking my lost save. This could be entertaining. Oh god, could you... <laughs> that both sounds like fun and sounds like a nightmare. I kind of want to do that now. rebuild the entire railroad that I had made years ago, just for the heck of it. <laughs> All 20 car freight trains, 30 meter curves, Climaxes, Heislers, Class 70s, all in one. <laughs> God, that save was overwhelming. Dental chili. <laughs> this sounds. <laughs> Dental chili sounds like a, a Halloween decoration. This <laughs> that somebody would put out. <laughs> I have no clue what it would look like, but I want to see somebody make it now. You could have the slogan be, bite in. <laughs> Dental chili, bite in. Chats casually as chat slowly loses their minds. Isn't that every live stream though? <laughs> Aside from chat and chaos uh, last uh, Friday a week ago, I was the one losing my mind that time. <laughs> I was the one suffering. Another 30 car coal train on my roads and line save. Not fun, but damn does it bring in a hell of a lot of cash. 9k from one trip makes it worth the pain of loading all the cars. TK, imagine doing that with boxcars. <laughs> you know, if you did 30 cars of boxcars, how much money would you make off of 30 cars of boxcars? Probably like 27,000 just going to the freight depot. And you got all the coal at the ironworks already, I'd assume. <laughs> Made my not an F7 switcher. A switcher. Wait. <laughs> you use it a gas turbine as a switching locomotive? <laughs> That's a sight to behold.
problematic as it is impossible to unload hopper cars, box cars, and gondolas that had gold ore frozen in them due to low temperatures and also being wet at the same Ah, uh, okay. So it kind of like... It kind of made it... So that the, uh... The, the ore got stuck to the cars. Can we see number two Zuma take a train, please? Uh, not today. We don't. We will be going up the route that the Zuma would normally take, but I, I, I don't know. I just don't really have any reason to run it. We already got a bigger engine. Why waste our time with something that's a little bit obsolete? You know. Are there any plans for another streamathon in the future? The last one was really fun to <laughs> It would be so hard to keep that up. Seven days of streaming? I could do it. I could probably try again, do another week of, of hey, I'm, I'm home alone. Because uh, I know my father's planning another trip to do what he did last year. He does this every year. He goes out to a, a thing for his church. <clears throat> There's a, a local regional meeting talking about what everybody's doing, etc., etc. And he, he likes participating in that a lot. But that's like, in March. It's very much a ways out. <laughs> Though I will admit, I was considering maybe streaming something less important later tonight. See, Splatoon has an event going on today. And uh, I'm going to be playing that event, basically as soon as we end the mainstream. <laughs> So part of me was thinking of starting a secondary one, streaming a little bit longer. In March? Isn't it March right now? Did I say March? Am I stupid? Did I say March? I meant to say, uh, July. I just joined a random Minecraft livestream. It was too boring. <laughs> <laughs> cat, hi Darian. I'm not letting you get in the way of me stopping this train on time. No. Nope. Go on the floor, but you can't stand there, kitty. I, I really need to get, like, that double-sided sticky tape to annoy Durian so she doesn't stop right in front of my microphone every time. <laughs> forgetting to whistle. I, I, I was about to hold down V and try and blow the whistle like Railroader, but I can't do that. This isn't Railroader. It's not how this works. Something annoying is that I have two locomotives and one tram, a gas turbine switcher and a, a San Fran auto tram, and an A4 Pacific with two tenders and no name. Oh, which cordwood do we have to grind on? All the cordwood, Krasad. We can't use the cordwood until it's been ground correctly. 
Yeah, we gotta wait a little bit until we get the actual cordwood cars. Because, uh, we don't have the money. We are currently sitting on $80. And a whole bunch of XP that I forgot to remove after the last stream. Let me fix that. <laughs> okay, player list. Let's go ahead, add XP, negative 69,000. Excuse me. Submit. There we go, that's much better. <laughs> Century of Void and Ro <laughs> Rail Rotors Tycoon 3 Online. Don't forget the Lex. <laughs> you gotta add the Lex there. Durian cannot make up her mind on where she wants to be today. She wants to be, apparently, a, a bagel of the void. Everything, everywhere, all at once. <laughs> it's TK <okay>, the... <laughs> Do you know those memes of, like, where people make a, a... A Kirby goes to the mall and buys himself a packet of ramen? Except they've just, like... <laughs> they've gone out of their way to grab the letters and characters from a whole bunch of different box arts from different video games. I'm just imagining that. <laughs> Deluxe Entry of Void and Rarities Tycoon 3 Online for the PS4. Man, how... If we're slowing down this much, that gondola must be heavy. I mean, I know it is, isn't it? Wait, hold on. Isn't it, like, ridiculous? He has 23,000 pounds, when regularly a, reg a normal hopper is only 13,000 pounds. Jeez. You planning on getting another cat cam? Nope. We've already got the two. Two covers most of what we need.
outside the window and I'm taking your cat. I feel like I notice if you're outside the window. <laughs> I don't I don't see nobody. Mallard sucks. Scotsman sucks. Big boy sucks now that I've offended everyone. Hello, chat. <laughs> Hello, kids. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. I can't. Please, please do not stand on my nose. I, I really gotta get her like a shelf where she can sit. That's out of the way, that she so that she doesn't try and stand over here. <laughs> Half the time Durian's on stream, I'm just complaining about how she's standing in front of the camera. Oh, they don't want her to. No sitting. No sitting. <laughs> I'm I'm moving my keyboard into an uncomfortable position so that she doesn't stand there. <laughs> Hello, PNA. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Vacuum inversely blows. <laughs> you know, now that you mention it. Don't some people say that something blows if they think it sucks? So, doesn't that mean that somebody can say that something both simultaneously sucks and blows? How does that work? How, do, how is that a thing? How does that function? We haven't heard of the allies making an AC-9. I don't know what an AC-9 is. I walk in and I hear this conversation happening. <laughs> Hello, Mario. She woke to the stream. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Cab forward, basically. All right, all right. So a stand, so it's a two eight eight four standard, a more standard look. look. Just had an accident in the switcher again. Its brakes jammed and off, and it rolled onto the main line. It rolled over a switch, and one of the bogey sets snapped off. <laughs> why? Why did you get the British bogeys, man? <laughs> it's still a four eight eight two. That's why. Oh, that's why it's still classified as an AC. I don't know what AC means. Air conditioning. Why do you have nine air conditioning units? Are there any train SCPs? That is a challenge that sounds like something to do on Productivity Night tomorrow. Speaking of Productivity Night, let me see how many people have actually signed up for that. Hold on, where's the Discord? 
Announcements. No sitting. Ah, 11 people. Let's go. Let's go. Twelve people now. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Shameless plug. <laughs> AC9 is a class of 2884 built for the SP in the 1940s. It was the only class of modern Malay that Southern Pacific is not has. That is not a or had, I guess. That is not a cab forward. <laughs> you, know, you know, now that you mention it, it kind of does feel like heresy to imagine a Southern Pacific articulated that's not a cab forward. <laughs> that's kind of funny to say out loud. <laughs> a three-day event in Melbourne. Go on in Melbourne. With lots of steam locos and the old workshops open, but I don't know about going. Very busy. Too many random people. That is the problem with any convention. Too many random people. You go out to a convention, it's like, oh, this is so cool, and it's also so overwhelming. Why are there so many noises and faces and smells? We know it's a steam locomotive, we don't call SD40s cab forwards, do we? Now we will, Celestial. Thank you for the idea. <laughs> I am stealing this and I am using it from here on out. Any diesel locomotive is now referred to as a cab forward. Except for maybe switchers, but even then switchers are kind of cab forwards. <laughs> It's a bi-directional loco, then. Uh, it is... Hmm. Well, can't you have a bi-directional loco with a cab on one end? Like an SD40. <laughs> the camelback? Yes, TK. We're, we're calling 44 tunnelers camelbacks from here on out. <laughs> Oh yes, I just randomly remember that. This, hey Mario, uh, I I don't remember. I think it was you I was talking to you about this, considering that you've got Mario in your name. Um, I beat Wonder last night. <laughs> Finally got it, got it all done. I haven't gotten all the seeds yet. I think I've completed worlds one, three. No, I haven't completed. Yeah, I have completed three. One, three, four, and six. If memory serves me. Still working on 100 percenting but beat it. <laughs> First time I saw an AC9 was in the train's Discord, and I thought a guy uncab forwarded a cab forward. Made quite the clown of myself. I don't really keep up with the Steam scene. <laughs> and in my defense, people have created stupider things in that Discord. <laughs> 
This is also Loaf, one of our community members who created the uh, the cab forward big boy using an RDC. <laughs> Presenting the all cab. Every direction is cab. Up, down, left, right, forwards, backwards. You got it, boss. <laughs> there is never enough cab. I don't know why, but the all cab sounds like a JoJo stand. How much ore does this hold? 22, yep, yeah, that's, that's what people were saying. Eight, so we want to make this 38. That's when we'll stop. Cab forward big boy isn't real, can't hurt you. That's what you think. <laughs> Give me five minutes, and I'll prove you wrong. <laughs> One... Forty, I'm gonna pull this up. that up, which means that we should be at 22 exactly. Perfect. Tony is real and will hurt us all. I mean, the, the Sturch? <laughs> we're, we're working on, on getting Stir merchandise with Tony involved. Eventually. TM. <laughs> Oh god, I, I need to work on that stupid P.O. box now that I think of it. Because I'm thinking of Sturge, I'm like, oh yeah, we'll make those passenger cars, we'll make those passenger trains, and I can't make them until, like, I, I cannot build the passenger trains and, and sell them until I have a P.O. box. Uh... gonna take a while. Uh. <laughs> gotta get that shot glass. Yeah, you gotta get the piss cup confessional shot glass. <laughs> Tony plushie. <laughs> uh, the plushies we have available, uh, or at least that I have available through the supplier I'm, I'm using, are, are just like basic animal plushies, so if you want a Tony plushie, it's going to be like a sheep or a lion or a tiger or something. <laughs> Fred is burning the food. Go go yell at them. Give them a microwave. Show them how to use it. Buy an Owen 30 Betsy put a massive cow catcher on it. That's right, we'll get the snowplow. We'll, we'll get what a <laughs> I do have I do have some 0 and 30 Betsy's. I have two. I, I also that reminds me, I guess I should probably change that donation goal for a sister for Snickerdoodle. Cause uh we we've already finished the Snickerdoodle sister. It's already complete, it's ready to go. I just I, I haven't bothered updating the goal. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have that out next week, a video on that, either on Monday or Thursday, not sure which yet. It's a little, it's one of the bigger porters, not the smaller ones. <laughs> Could you imagine that, you know those, those comically big snowplows that go, uh, that are like, are taller than the smokestack on the Cook Mogul here? Imagine one of those on a Betsy. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, and that reminds me. Let's change the weather. Let's, uh, let's make it light rain, why not? <laughs> it falls down and crushes the poor thing. <laughs> That does remind me, somebody actually suggested I get one of those. You guys know the Rio Grande Southern's uh, rotary snowplow? Somebody a while back actually suggested I get one of those for L30. They're like $300. I don't have that kind of money on my person right now. <laughs> Get an Owen 30 Galloping Goose for 100 less than that. TK, I've seen those Galloping Gooses go for like a 100 bucks <laughs> sometimes. DCC sound. They're surprisingly common. I guess, Pete, the thing is, is that like. You only need one, because it's really just a rail bus, and rail buses aren't exactly the most useful things when you're trying to run your trains. Handle just casually clips through a tree. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You, you saw nothing, Tony. Here, here take a bribe. <laughs> Act like nothing happened. We didn't put concrete shoes. We didn't no clip through a tree, Tony. That's that's not how the universe works. <laughs> I'm an event in Gmod called the Great 08 Race. Two BR08 shunters are placed on parallel lines and have six thrusters on the back. I think. Oh God. <laughs> Stage one, go. Sounds terrible, I love it. Does the game actually penalize you if you run tender first and just don't buy turntables? Unfortunately, it does not. Most games don't, but the reason I like turning around my engines is uh, because if uh, I, I've just played this game so much that doing it the old-fashioned way where you just immediately turn your train around is kind of boring. And so, like, I don't play with, with reversing loops, you know? I don't play with balloon loops very often, because it just gets dull. It's very easy to play efficiently. In fact, I could probably do a playthrough of me playing truly efficiently. Because realistically, you don't even need the engine at the front of the train. You could do push-pull service. Better than the O-Gage Rotary I was looked at once. Shipping was $200, which seemed low compared to the $2,000 asking price. Oh my goodness. Don't, don't show that to Dak or to Johnny. We don't need to fuel their war any further. <laughs> Just noticed the engine's name of Buddhist. <laughs> yeah, we we couldn't figure out a name, so that's just what we came up with on the spot. Everyone's like Buddhist, I'm like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> and so we did it. No questions asked. It's also why the railroad name is Secunda and Secunda. Somebody suggested making it something along those lines, and I just made it even stupider. <laughs> it's a complete meme, and I love it. 
is going to be a third contender in that war real soon. Oh no, there's already a third contender. It's me. I'm in last place, but there's already a third. <laughs> I, I have spent way too much money on locomotives. Like, I, I got the, the Forney cab conversion recently, and I got the, the Tender Flare kit. And I got those two those two cabooses we were talking about earlier in the stream that are, are on order right now. I spent all that money on my father's birthday gift. But you know what? It's always cheaper than boating. Next vid, she'll pee about the stupid Betsy else I make it to. <laughs> 0220 big boy. I'd love to see an 0220 big boy. Make it a cab forward. The next vid is probably going to be either about my father's birthday engine, or it's going to be about Cherry. Can we one day see either number one or number two to a push-pull train? No. Push-pull is banned in this world. I, I am not allowing it to happen. Because, again, Push pull is kind of boring once you've played this game as long as I have. I have played for. A. 1,669 hours! <laughs> if I'm gonna be doing push pull, it's gonna be with a gear engine and on its own dedicated save. Definitely not in this one, though. <laughs> now get to 69,000 hours. Don't worry, I have that much in Splatoon. <laughs> in fact, I have more than that at this point. I, I've played that game a little too much. Which is kind of why I'm tempted to stream it later tonight, but... <laughs> I recently found out someone in my school has over 23,000 hours in Fortnite? Holy crap. Never be able to do push-pull trains in my save because half my routes are too dangerous to do it. I could probably do push-pull on most of my saves. Push-pull, 30 meter curves, Betsy only. <laughs> If you do a Splatoon stream, will it be here on YouTube? I'm not entirely sure. It might be on Twitch. We make a Tony plushie, can we have it do a cry? <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll have it so that if you pull a button, if you press a button on its back, it'll just shoot you. He'll just murder you point blank, no questions asked. <laughs> One day they'll look back at those 23,000 hours and cry about how wasted they are. Uh... <laughs> 
sorrow, depression. <laughs> I can't afford a river as a human boy. Those things are pricey. Somebody else can afford it, though, and somebody else will probably make the cursed 0220 big boy. <laughs> First push pull work passenger train was over in the UK in 1904 with the British Railroad called the Great Western, doing it on the Brentford branch line. It always fascinates me that in the UK, like it may. What are they called? What were those coaches called? That they would use as sort of like cab cars for steam locomotives? That was always such an interesting idea to me. I don't remember the name of them off the top of my head, though. Ah, yep. Okay, abandoning train was a bad idea. Everybody get your piss cup shot glass right. What the fuck? What was that physics? Right at the end. What was that? <laughs> Excuse me? That was, um... Certainly something. What happened to those cars? What happened to the engine? <laughs> the name is Auto Coaches. Yeah, that sounds about right. I think that's that's what it is. <laughs> it wasn't just single coaches. They would do four or five. Yeah, so I've, so I've heard. <clears throat> But still, it's fascinating to me, it, just in general, that they actually made those linkages to, um... To get the, to run the train from the back. I guess it makes sense, but just at the same time, it's like, what? Huh? <laughs> Physics have been so weird lately. I streamlined my train last month, pulling only two cars. I mean, here it makes some sort of sense as the train binned it because I was I did have the uh, the gondola at the back, so uh, that was a huge amount of weight all put on the back of the train. And so when I slammed on the brakes, the lighter weight stuff probably just did not have a good time. It very much got sands. I'm just curious about how the car actually clipped it, or the engine clipped into the crown. It did that, like, little flip or whatever. good to go, and we are aligned to go... Oh, wait. Okay, maybe we're not all linked. <laughs> Oops. Alright, now we're all linked. <laughs> now we're all good to go. 
<laughs> Do you think the fireman was secretly glad to have the driver at the other end of the train? I mean, it depends on the relationships that each and every driver and fireman had. I'm sure somebody was happy to get rid of their, their bozo engineer. You use a gaming chair? I do not. I use a, um, an office chair. I don't remember the name of the company, but it's something that's based in Grand Rapids. I know that much because my father grew up in Grand Rapids, and he kind of was a little bit obsessed with that. <laughs> Can't really do log sessions without my back hurting. Don't worry, it doesn't matter what kind of chair you have for that, Mario. Uh, you're, you're going to be going through pain. <laughs> no matter what. I think I should make some Era 1 British rolling stock. Make Era 1 British rolling stock, but make it out of American equipment. <laughs> Take a boxcar, turn it into a four-wheeled... <laughs> ...goods <again. laughs> I wish his balls would turn to bulldogs and bite the sod to death. That line from Dave Golder's Eight Freight Blues tells the most common relationship between engineers and firemen. <laughs> that is certainly a mental image. She has returned. After all these years, she's back. It took her long enough, but she's returned. And she's not in front of my computer for once. Let's go. She's not blocking my keyboard and mouse. I can make Mario Wonder references now. Nobody was stopping you, buddy. <laughs> okay, I guess I probably would have. I, I didn't want spoilers for it. Dude, playing online multiplayer has been so fun and funny, though. Just having... Watching people repeatedly die and run up to you, and then being that person on, like, harder levels, dying and repeatedly running up to the players who are much better than you. And just having this sort of unspoken teamwork and friendship as you all go through these levels. It's fun. I like it. Kidder is back. World is saved. She needs to watch the garbage trucks. 
<laughs> On the next stream, can you do a push-pull? Max, no. I dislike doing push-pull services, and I also kind of don't like being told what to do. <laughs> Haven't made railway content before, so I would like some tips, please. Uh, what kind of railroad content are you doing? Like, railroad games? Are, are we talking model railroading? Are we talking historical stuff? Do you agree Piranha Plants on Parade was one of the most magical moments in a Mario game? Unfortunately, I got spoiled for it. Like, it's hard to not get spoiled for it, but I got spoiled for it, and so it wasn't as magical as I wished it was. I think, honestly, one of the most magical moments in, in Wonder for me... Oh, this isn't gonna work. This is very much not going to work. Uh, what was I gonna say? I think one of the most magical moments for me was the airship levels. It was specifically, I think, the airship level in the lava world. I don't want to get too deep into spoilers, but it, it was the one where where you could actually pause the auto scroll. That was something that took caught me off guard, and it was so buttery smooth, and it felt. And honestly, I didn't even realize that it was something that was player controlled at first because it was so natural that it felt like they just had timed it perfectly. <laughs> I think that was honestly one of the most magical moments from, from the game, which is weird to say because it's something that a lot of people probably never noticed, which is perfect because it's something that you probably don't want to notice, you know? It's something you don't want the players to realize is there. Real double O gauge models, 3D prints. If anything... I would rec- so, my old style of editing was I would record, like, multiple hours of footage and then voice over and post. I don't recommend doing that. It is so tiring. It takes so long to do. What I've been doing recently instead is I have been, uh, what's, what have I been doing? I have been basically turning off the camera for like 90% of the recording, and then occasionally I will turn it on and I'll just voice my thoughts and what I'm doing at that moment. And then I'll, I'll record like six minutes of footage and then I'll stop and then I'll go back to doing, uh, I'll go back to working on it in silence or like I'll turn on some music or something. <laughs> That's what I would recommend. Don't record literally everything, only record what you need, because otherwise you're going to be wasting so much time editing down the footage. It's one of the reasons we didn't have a video this week, is because I'm just, I'm too lazy and I don't want to have to make the, um... <laughs> I don't want to have to edit down the, the Sister for Snickerdoodle video. Because I recorded two hours of footage. Fortunately, that's less footage than I normally record. Unfortunately, it's two hours of raw, uncut footage. <laughs> Zero out of ten would not recommend. Wanted to try becoming a transit YouTuber, but researching how passenger trains were slash are treated in the U.S. just kind of makes me mad. <laughs> uh, let's do something like Adam something, you know? 
go on long rants about how these new transit projects are completely terrible because they're they're trying to revolutionize trains, but in the end they just have a million flaws that nobody is willing to acknowledge. <laughs> Hello, Darknet. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Class of eight to zero to a hundred in zero point zero one seconds. Dude, at that rate, you could probably get yourself into orbit. You could probably go to the moon. <laughs> Durian is in front of the microphone again. I hate my life. Okay, she's jumping out of the way. Let's go. Cat is no longer blocking the microphone. What editing software do you use? Uh, I personally use what's it called? Um. VSDC or VDSC. I don't remember what it is. It's, it's those four letters, though. I just don't remember if the S or the D comes first. Uh, I've heard that DaVinci Resolve is a little bit better. I'm going to be trying to do DaVinci Resolve, I think, in the future. But right now, I'm more comfortable with VSDC, VDSC, whatever it is. How close did we get to? Oh, we didn't get. We got pretty good. We're we're fine. We're fine. Could be worse, Dorian. Could be nomming the mic. <laughs> yeah, could you imagine if she was chewing on the foam? <laughs> What's really funny right now is that she's sitting everywhere except for the spot that I want her to sit, which is the cat bed. <laughs> she just doesn't want to sit there for whatever reason. <laughs> I guess I might need to move it in a little bit so it's it's not sticking out quite as much. Like on April 7th, I'm gonna make an Era 1 wagon vid. Does that sound okay? I mean, it's up to you, really. Determining what kind of videos you make and what you specifically want to make is, is all really uh, to each their own, you know? YouTube says chat is disconnected and stream is buffering badly for me. Uh, try refreshing the tab, TK. Turn it off and on again. Do do the classic. <laughs> All right. Money time. Like Sam's Trains, but also you, so it's gonna be like a blend. Sam's Trains makes good videos. 
I don't watch him often. I like th I like his formatting though. <laughs> I, uh, I also love the jokes that he does. <laughs> uh, one of the, one of the highlights of the year is, is the end of year stuff he does, where he he starts mocking these models that are just absolutely terrible. <laughs> I love that so much. It's so dumb. <laughs> so, so charming. Reloading the stream? Reloaded the stream. Buffering is gone and chat works now. Not sure why that happened or what, what the beep and red flash from my kitchen was that preceded it. Uh, is your router in your kitchen? Where was the line? Should I delete my 10 item hoppers for the new 22 item hoppers to help reduce popcorning? Uh, that depends on how big your save is. Dark nut. All things considered, though, I, I would personally recommend it. Because if we quickly check out the 10 item hoppers versus the 20 item hoppers, uh, weight wise, the 22 item hoppers are heavier, but like proportionate, the number of the, of units of iron ore that this holds. Let's do the math. Let's do the math. We want 23, 6, 2, 3 over 22 versus 13, 2, 2, 8 over 10. Yeah, it's less weight per unit. Uh, it's 1,073 versus 1,322 uh, pounds of weight, base weight on the car per unit of item, per unit of iron ore. So if you want to swap them out for like four 22 item hoppers, you'll hold more, and you'll have a lighter weight train. And you'll have less cars, so less popcorning. Luggy Tug's a good train YouTuber too. Dude, I, I love watching. <laughs> I've seen his reviews of certain Thomas movies on occasion. Those have been fun things to binge back in the day. But I also don't... I've mentioned this many a time. I don't really watch too many train YouTubers too often. Because, like, as a train YouTuber myself, I don't want to burn out creatively. I want to I wanna keep my jive going, you know? Jive? Yeah, jive. Have you never heard that before? Have you never heard somebody say jive? I should probably go to this the event this weekend, not uploaded anything in two months due to being over it all. Yeah. <clears throat> Creative burnout is one heck of a nightmare. And I I have felt it a couple of times while I've been doing YouTube. In this last year or so. I'm surprised though, I haven't really felt the burnout on streams, which is really weird, because I used to have it like, oh, I don't want to stream today, I just want to sleep in, and, but for some reason recently, I feel like I've been getting over that, I've just been getting into the groove of doing it, and, and not complaining mentally to myself. I don't know why, because doing two streams a week can be quite exhausting. <laughs> 
But I guess that's also partially why I, uh, we don't have as many videos as I use. Like, I used to try and do a perfect weekly schedule, but now I kind of just do whatever I feel like, whenever I feel like. So... Donk. Wonder if we get larger wagons like the state class that can hold the more than 12 boards and three beams, etc. That could be interesting. Have like a 30 footer that can hold six beams and like 12 boards, something like that. Just wondering, is anyone else having an issue with connecting track to the coal loader for tenders? Uh, to the coaling tower? I haven't messed with the coaling tower yet, so I don't know. That's why I'm not planning on having an upload schedule. We upload! We when we upload! The one problem is, the more you want to expand your channel, you kind of need uh, a consistent schedule. Because if you don't have a consistent schedule, then people don't know when to expect you to do stuff, and so people don't get in the swing of things of watching your videos, and that's like... That's the trouble. That's why I'm thinking of having it be like one to two weeks. Just constantly uploading, no matter what. <laughs> oh, I gotta get started on it, man. I gotta I gotta do something to begin. But those random update videos, the, was that random update video I did last not yeah, it was last week, wasn't it? Um Was that good? Did people enjoy that? Was that an acceptable video style? It? Okay, good, good. Glad, glad to hear that <laughs> at least one person did. Because um, <laughs> the thing for me is that was, that was actually really fun to make and really easy, too. So we might be seeing more videos like that in the future. Heist doesn't really have a schedule other than Montezuma Mondays. Hey, one video a week, consistently, that's, that's pretty dang good if you ask me. <laughs> I think I am going to break Steel Pegasus rules a little bit. Because <laughs> one of the rules is that we can only have eight car trains. I think I'm going to have a train that's longer than eight cars today. Because by the looks of it, we have just enough money to purchase four of those, uh, whatchamacallums? Four cordwood cars. And, but if we were to carry all four cordwood cars, all four stake flats, and the high side gondola, that's nine cars! Oh, wait, no, I haven't, I've got a plan. I've got a plan. I know how to fix this. <laughs> I know my solution. And I, I now remember why I had that rule in place, because it actually was kind of fun to try and panic and figure out alternatives. I have a solution. <laughs> It's called 
leave one of the cars behind. <laughs> well, we'll just leave the steak flats here in town. One, two, we'll unpin, and we'll hit a handbrake. Cabis don't count, do they? Nope. Cabis do not count. If they did, I would already be in trouble. <laughs> yeah, the general rule is that passenger cars and cabooses don't count. Uh, and this does include the railway uh, post office. Which I do understand the railway post office does have a use like an actual physical use, but it's such a, a niche use, and it's all in the all the way at the end of the game. Tony 10 cars. <laughs> no, no, Trey and Kits, we, what we gotta do, it's Tony 10 fingers. That's his nickname, Tony 10 fingers. Um, I don't think the brakes worked. Did someone say cordwood? No, nobody said cordwood. Uh, <laughs> hello, JHR. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Tony Ten Fingers born without thumbs. <laughs> God, could you imagine how hard life would be if you didn't have thumbs? Though I'm sure somebody knows the answer to this question. And I don't I do not mean to make a mockery out of anybody who, who has such a a disability, but at the same time Thumbs are just something that we sort of take for granted. I, you know, that's an out of context or quote. Thumbs are something we take for granted. <laughs> oh wait, this is the wrong telegraph office to go to. Uh, I wanted to go to this one because I wanted to make sure that this switch was set for there. And now we go get cordwood. What about two dongs and one ball? That's a, you know that somebody has made a Sonic the Hedgehog fanfic where Tails is that way. Alright everybody, we're gonna have to cross the entire map again. Somebody come up with a conversation topic for the road trip.
make a box car, but it's full, practically pouring with cows. <laughs> A grain hopper. We'll get a we'll get a covered hopper, but it's got cows inside. <laughs> All I want to say is in the vid I'm working on. I'm. I say, so let's get right into it, shall we? Wait, did I say we? No, no, no! And then the Soviet National Anthem starts with a video of a little show. <laughs> a lightly bass boosted. <laughs> Which one of your own 30 locomotives is your favorite? Currently number 21. Uh, unfortunately, she doesn't have sound, but we're working on getting her a WoW sound kit, because she... It, it's gonna be such a... a I don't know, I just love the way she looks. It's this sort of the heavy industrial vibe. And also just the fact that she's one of the first engines I ever got, you know? Snickerdoodle's got a soft spot in my heart, don't get me wrong, but... Number 21 is one of my favorites. I'm gonna be excited for once number 19 is complete. Because I recently got the parts to convert her into the, the open back cab. But number 19 isn't complete, so... 21 it is. Something exciting I've seen today while driving to a hotel was that I saw 5511 sat in the yard nearby the road. I don't know 5511. That is, that is an engine that I, I'm not aware of. If a train crashes and it's full of cows, but it's headed to the slaughterhouse, does it matter? <laughs> yeah, bad news. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry, Tony. The, the cows, they're, they're all fucking dead. But the good news, they were going to be dead anyway. So uh, let's let's just scrape up. Let's scrape up the loose meats. Let's, let's all pour it into a hopper car and we'll just deliver it like normal. It all will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. What are you talking about? It's perfectly fine. We're gonna... <laughs> we'll just clump them all together. It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> Tony, look, it's it's just pre mint stuff, Tony. You you don't you see? <laughs> we can sell it at the supermarket at a massive discount. Nobody nobody needs to know. <laughs> Dispatching gondolas with mixed innards. Sell it as soil and brown. You know you know Tony. How everybody loves the green stuff. We'll give them the brown stuff. Reminds me of a video of some guys playing Mario Party 8 and one of the guys asks, Dry Bones is already dead. Does it matter if he looks both ways? <laughs> Dude, if anybody ever does a Dungeons and Dragons campaign where one of the characters is a lich or a zombie or something, make it so that they never look both ways, and they always get hit by cars. They never even roll. No, they 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 roll the perception checks, but they always know the car is coming. Don't care and just see if the person will stop in time. <laughs> All right. We're at spawn. And you know what that means. Fish.
Alright, so we're gonna put on the brakes for these two cars. And we're going to pull through the yard. And then we are going to pick up the cordwood cars before heading out to, uh, up to the logging camp, where we'll probably also grab the, uh, the flats. <laughs> Hello, Tab. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Tab is a good nickname. I'm going with that. <laughs> Tab. I'm gonna head out for a little while. It's really nice out today. It is very nice out today. It's nice and sunny. It's nice and warm. <laughs> it's the most out of context thing I can you can think of. So there I was. <laughs> yes, exactly. So there I was. Um, I guess there's cross the Berlin Bridge, eat lots of pigeons. It's probably the most out of context thing I can think of right now. Uh, you know what? Screw it. I already screwed this up. We're just gonna buy these flat cars all with the same, uh... <laughs> all with the same statistics. For me, it's, Hello, Gordon! <laughs> that is the one meme that I remember from that. I never... I never actually watched it. One of my friends did. I watched some highlights and compilations. <laughs> Look, Gordon! A rope! We can use these to climb- Help me, Gordon! It's like the Sonic fan dub. The Snapcube fan dubs. Bonk, Link, Brakes are off. <laughs> you want a River Rossi Big Boy? You got it! Just mm, come back when you're a little richer. <laughs> that was completely out of order. I, rem I know that by heart. <laughs> Sorry, Link. I can't give credit. Come back when you're a little mm, richer. <laughs> Whatever happened to American Lego trains? There were BNSF and Super Chief sets at one point, and now we only see British-inspired ones. At times change, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I was going to recite one of the lines about wiping military, but I feel like that would be a bit too far out of context. <laughs> Look, the Doctor has no context. <laughs> His name alone asks, makes you ask a million questions. <laughs> Speaking of a million questions. We have two cat cams. <sighs> one of them is already in use. But the other one is not happy with me. Apparently, I unplugged it. I just want to move it two feet. <sighs> Is it too taut? Am I not allowed to do that? Is the... 
Okay, hold on. Let's try this. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cat cam. Deactivate, activate. There you go. Benry, just in general, makes me ask a thousand questions. Dude, the only thing I remember about Benry... Everybody simped him. <laughs> Gotta go. Alright, take care, Tabs. Take care. I'm calling you Tabs now. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Why is the sky blue? Because we didn't get enough red paint, man. <laughs> Apparently... The local governors didn't like the fact that we had to kill so many people to make it, so we, we just we had to cancel the project, and now it's blue. You care about Era 1 locomotives? Eh, not really. I like early day... I don't like our early locomotives. I'm more like stuff that you'd see around like the time period of this engine or more modern things. I'm going to hit this camera so many times while I'm trying to just move my stupid flipping mouse. <sighs> Why can't it be purple? Why not Blurple? We'll go for that Discord color. That they have copyrighted, apparently. <laughs> or patented, trademarked, I don't know the term. I don't even know if that's true. That might just be a wild statement that is completely, blatantly false. Right, bam. Bingo. The dongle. We have the cordwood. It's not loaded, but we have the cars. Accounts. Gotta go. All right, take care, Caden. Take care. <laughs> why does "Why is the sky blue?" sound like a question Tommy would ask for when he's losing his mind? It sounds like something that Coomer would ask. <laughs> just randomly, no context, just would. <laughs> Era zero. This toy horse sucks. Could you imagine if there was actually a mo an HO scale motorized horse? <laughs> God, do you get remember the railroad? The what is it? What's the term? Oh, right, the the horse engine that they made at those engine trials, those locomotive trials. Where they just put a horse on a treadmill. <laughs> uh, old day railroading is goofy as all get out, and I love it.
Gordon, why are you a horse today? Dude, that sounds like a, a family guy cutaway gag. <laughs> Thomas the Tank Engine, but it's set in, like, the 1790s. <laughs> it's just horses, but they all have those Thomas the Tank Engine faces on them, rather than horse faces. <laughs> I'm out of coal. Now I'm not out of coal. Okay. Velocipede, something like that. That sounds about right. Though that also sounds like a horror story that you'd hear about insects. <laughs> but it's like a really bad horror story, and it's kind of 80s themed. For whatever reason. It's got like that neon neon styling you'd see in a lot of 80s hip stuff. Powered by a horse, but it has less than one horsepower because of mechanical losses in the gearing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's great. That's not great. Why did the train derail? What? Why are we string lining again? Is this car really so heavy that this is gonna happen every time I stop? Really, game? <laughs> the very fast centipede. <laughs> Centa speed, more like it. Okay, Sent to Speed also it just sounds like a, a video game that you'd find online. It's a really stupid Flash game, but the levels are actually really well designed. The mechanic is like the weirdest thing you've ever seen. But the game itself is a banger. It sounds like a Nitrome game, actually, now that I think about it. Flanges are rubbish, that's why you fall off the track. Now, the problem here is that the we have a very heavy car at the back of the train, and I just I can't be bothered to move it to the front of the train, and so the weight load is, is making these cars that are lighter weight uh, just suddenly kind of snap. Oh, come on! Really? The cars came so far that I have to move the engine again? Uh... <laughs> Realistic mode? Yeah, we're on realistic. We're on realistic physics. Because it forces me to think about stuff like this, and it makes the game more interesting. It forces me to suffer.
pin, pink and lin, a link, or I guess that's a pin actually, it's not a link. Um, we're gonna have to ride the handbrake so that we don't accidentally derail again. This is gonna be a little tricky. For April Fools, do a Thomas Bachman review, but very seriously. Nah, for April Fools, I gotta make a Thomas the Tank Engine that's an 0 and 30. <laughs> could, you, <laughs> could you imagine building a custom Thomas the Tank Engine? Better yet, for April Fools, announce that I'm going to be start doing this as a 100% Thomas the Tank Engine channel. Wait. I didn't link those? Could have sworn that I did. The heck? Oh, this is gonna crash. Okay, never mind, we're good. We're good, we're fine, we're safe. Life is good. <laughs> no, no issues here, officer. It has a bell and a cow catcher. I mean, I could make a Thomas the Tank Engine based off of, what's it called, um... <laughs> uh, there's a company that makes an Owen 30 side tank engine. That's an 060 or a 262, depending on what you want it to be. Um... Uh, it's Cumberland Shops. Cumberland Shops makes uh, a side tank locomotive. It won't perfectly look like Thomas, of course, because, you know, it's, it's, design, it's just a freelance design for 130, but it'll look vaguely like Thomas. just realized it's implied that a gnome is stronger than Doug. <laughs> As the gnome managed to swap places with Gordon while Monsieur Coomer was only able to get into their mind. <laughs> Thomas the Spank Engine! <laughs> it has one of those... Oh god, that's terrible. I love it. We'll get a... We'll get an H.O. <laughs> we'll get an H.O. Bachman Thomas. And then we'll get... <laughs> we'll motorize it in such a way that the hand is just spinning around violently. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so terrible. I love it. <laughs> oh... I have no clue how we're gonna do that, but I need- I know what I need to do for April Fool's. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that's so terrible. That's so good. <laughs> how- uh, 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 I need- I need to- I need to ask my dad for help motorizing this. We'll buy a cheap Bachman one. <laughs> Thank you for the idea, man. We have to do this now. <laughs> oh, God. Jokes aside, I was planning on making the weird definitely not a Southern Pacific Jeep from TF2 and HO scale with some of the rolling stock from the game. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be a nifty sight to see. That'd be fun. Okay, 
right, we are set to go around. If I remember correctly... Yeah, Alka still has... Both of... Okay, I think I know how I'm going to do this. <clears throat> You're picking up the Paper Mario Thousand Year Door remake when it comes out? Uh, maybe... I still haven't beaten a couple of games, you know, like, I've, I've got a, a couple of things on my backlog I have to get through. I've got Bug Fables, and I think Bug Fables is probably going to be a little bit higher priority. But maybe I'll get it. We'll see. Thinking of sleeping now, and don't a bit, and yeah, sawmill and overs. Not sure what you mean there, T14. Found a YouTube channel you may like. It's called Douglas Harding Iowa Central Railroad, and that YouTube channel has info on modeling different types of freight traffic. Hold on, I need to clear this switch. Oh, hold on, we're already clear of the switch, aren't we? <clears throat> and setups of lumber yards and so on. That'd be neat. That'd be good to know. I think I'm going to be going with the mine plan for the layout in the end, though. I'm, I'm tempted to do the logging. Cause, uh, God, logging would be really easy to do, but... Actually, hmm, now that I think of it, it could be stupid easy to do the logging. I don't know, maybe I will, maybe I won't. We'll figure it out. Done a bit. Oh, done a bit in terms of work on the map. It's gonna... <sighs> map making takes so long, like actually detailing stuff with buildings and stuff. Mm. It'll probably be forever before we actually get this fully ready or on. Glue two Betsy's together like a double fairly. I've seen that like 17 different times. I don't know why it's so popular to do. I guess it's because it pisses people off and that is funny. Uh, <laughs> Hello Ruben, welcome to the stream, welcome to the stream. I was running a passenger train at night last week, but the lights on in the coaches brought me down to only 4 FPS? Jesus. It's a good idea. I don't even have Betsy's. <laughs> on this save, and I'm certainly not doing it in no one dirty. I'm not bastardizing those locomotives. <laughs> For March 10 on Sunday, you should stream Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Calamari Desert, and Super Bell Subway only. <laughs> now what we gotta do is we gotta give myself a Mario mustache on the PNG tuber. That's what we gotta do. Of a GP40 I could use, but she was my first model, and for all I love TF2, I wouldn't do that to her. <clears throat> I totally get that. Just buy another one. Go out to the train store, ask them if they have a GP40. If they do, buy it, repaint it. Bam. 
we're gonna have a productivity night tomorrow, so we just repaint it then. Bold of you to assume I'm not broken. All of my models are gifts. <laughs> All my models are crowdfunded. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, hold the phone, hold the phone. Stop. Stop. Okay. <laughs> It bonked into the train, but it didn't derail. We're fine. We're we're good. Are you going to do retro gaming? Uh, I don't know what retro games I would do exactly. CT. Going to call it for a day off to sleep I go. Alright, sleep well, T14, sleep well. Like N64007, oh no, no, definitely not. <laughs> I, I'm not much of a retro gamer, I, I'm just a guy who likes driving trains and playing Splatoon. Why though? Well, why would I play it in the first place, you know? I do train games. This is a train gaming channel. Why would, why would I play a game about shooting people with guns that happens to be, like, how old? <laughs> happens to be, like... God, is the N64... The N64 is older than I am, isn't it? Jeez. I, I am a young lad. I feel old, and yet at the same time I don't. What, what has my life come to? It was released in 1990s. Yeah, that thing's older than I am. Console system is, is older than little old me. <laughs> little old dummy stir. <laughs> well, I'm an N64 then. <laughs> it's confirmed. Whatever year you were born, whatever console came out most recently around that time, that's what you are. Animal Crossing was first on the N64. Yeah, it was. Wasn't that the game where they insulted you relentlessly? And then they never did that again? Which is really stupid, because that's like one of the best features of that original game. It's one of the coolest parts. Come on, why can't- Why can't we have them call us a dipshit?
Me and my dad were taking a trip to Lancaster to ride the SL on a joke that, that the SL and I share a service year of 2000. <laughs> service year is certainly a way to say that you were born. Uh, <laughs> Hey friends, what's what service year were you existed? <laughs> Take the BuzzFeed quiz now. They gotta place a, a telegraph office over here so that we can get around faster. I was there when the dark days of gaming. <laughs> the days where Laura Croft polygons were the hottest thing on PS1. <laughs> Next crowdfund campaign on the live stream shall be a River Aussie small boy, because big boy is expensive. Uh, no, thank you. I, I value my money. We already got the 2662 to repaint anyways. And besides, I'm sure that I could come up with train sets. <laughs> the next the next crowdfund goal is getting me a, a PO box if anything. <laughs> I need a, I need a way to sell my train sets. I need a way to sell my single combination baggage coach cars. Where's the firebox? Where's the firebox? Oh my god, that is so hard to line up with. There we go. In TF2, this scout was the model train equivalent. Oh god, could you imagine James from Thomas the Tank Engine, but he's painted up and given accessories to look like the Scout from TF2? Got a baseball bat. <laughs> we'll make that next year. We've already got Thomas the Spank Engine to do this year. You know what? I'm actually going to look up how much it costs to buy a Bachman Thomas. There's one for only 20 bucks. That's not bad. Baseball bat is a funnel. <laughs> yes. Make a joke on me wishing I had a kid on the Avalia service state, but I'm very not ready to be a dad. <laughs> Speed run. Child. A sixty-nine dollars for a Bachman Thomas. Okay, you know what? I'm going on a Ko-Fi. I'm changing the donation goal as we speak. Screw it.
There we go. <laughs> fastest locomotive besides the Mallard, like America? Uh, the Mallard isn't the fastest locomotive. We've determined this on stream like 70 different times. <laughs> fastest locomotive is like some German engine, I think. So the Mallard is only the only one that people cared to make official. Got back from my bike ride. Glad I got some sunshine today. Pennsylvania Railroad S1 got a speeding fine for going 150. Exactly! Like, Mallard is not the fastest engine out there. It's just the one that people keep touting as the fastest and getting butt hurt whenever anybody tries to contest the fact that it isn't. <laughs> That's what it is. Mallard is best? Why is it stuck on static display then? Hmm? <laughs> Fastest engine is the rocket, Betsy. Hey, in Railroader we were able to hit 150 miles an hour. Not for very long, but we did hit it. It wasn't counted as a record because they weren't attempting- Really? That's the only reason it's not counted as a record, is because they weren't attempting to break the record. <laughs> That's so stupid! Like, it's right there! We have the information! Why does that not count? <laughs> it was in service, it was operational, it was practical. God. That's so stupid. Then again, many things in life are stupid, so what, why am I surprised? Stevenson's rocket versus Betsy pulling test. Betsy would win. Any, no question. No contest. Because Britain wanted to win. That would explain why, why they get so butthurt whenever they say that it's... Whenever somebody says that it's stupid. <laughs> Like, the engine's been the fastest for so long. Why does it need to still have the record? It's still got its place in history. Uh. It wasn't an official record-breaking attempt, which just makes it even better. <laughs> because they hit that speed, and possibly up to 164 on some occasions, when they were doing regular revenue service runs. <laughs> that is just insane to me. That's way more impressive than we made it. We made a, a scheduled run where we specifically pushed it to the limit, you know. God, Thomas the Spank Engine. I'm never gonna get over that pun. It's so good. I can't wait to design. <laughs> Why don't you gauge Thomas with just a hand that swings around and slaps like a piece of salami? Sounds like a... <laughs> oh god, this is gonna be so cursed. I love it.
find it super impressive that the Metroliner could keep up with the Zero Series Shinkansen even with no aerodynamics whatsoever. Uh, Metroliners were those sort of, um, they were those bud cars, the Amfleet cars, but with, with, uh, but technically not because they were made before Amfleet. Uh, right? <laughs> with the Samog face. No, a hundred. We have to make it so we, it's got an OO face. I'll have to repaint it completely. <laughs> so it's got oo on it or something. <laughs> this is a terrible concept. I love it. <laughs> Repainting the Thomas. Oh god, I could even... <laughs> Thomas with an uwu face. <laughs> A hand painted uwu face. <laughs> I need to do this. I can't, I can't, it's too good, it's too stupid, <laughs> I can't stop thinking about it. Thomas the Yank Engine, that's something we'll have to do another year, Dark Knight. <laughs> this will be a yearly tradition, where we make really cursed Thomas the Tank Engine variants. <laughs> Speaking of cats, it's a terrible play. I would not, uh. <laughs> All aboard to the demonetization station! She just reused the same engine and keep laying on the memes. Oh god. Imagine getting, getting a cease and desist from Mattel. Not the American Yank, the other Yank. Oh, I know the other Yank. I know what Yank you were talking about. <laughs> Don't worry. I I am well aware. Oh my god. It's given me an HO scale Thomas Kincaid thing. No. Please. But yeah, there's one that's available for 20 bucks. I could grab that. <laughs> Thomas the Jank Engine, by the time you're done with it. Thomas the Jank Engine would have, like, a Shea... Shea gearing. And it would be inarticulated. At the same time. Don't ask how it works, because honestly, I don't know.
to another one just painted red, white, and blue with a sound box playing. What the F is a camelometer? <laughs> Could you imagine? Donk. Undo handbrake. God, this train is going to have a little bit of trouble making it over the hill. Um, gonna have to worry about that. Onward and upward. I thought that said downward and upward for a second there, Mario. So I'm like downward and upward. Yes, clearly. That's how that's how words work. Here, Digital Circus is getting a full season. Of course, I have. It's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> I'm really not surprised it's getting a full season. It's got good, well placed, well paced comedy. It's got a whole bunch of internet personalities that a lot of people know, which has definitely helped to drive its fame. But also, a hundred million views on the pilot? Hot damn. <laughs> All right. So we shall get in the engine somehow. There we go, that's better. Pull the way car forward. I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to shove the way car all the way around the train rather than just shoving it off to the side. It will require a little more movement, but I think it'll be easier for us to get running speed, a running start, before we hit the 2% uphill. So that is the plan. Back it all the way. Two hundred eighty two hundred and eighty three million Jesus Louise
I think you should get a Bachman 440, old tiny American. Uh, the 440s are kind of expensive. It's $200 for non DC or for non sound variants. Little bit expensive. There is one available right now that was recently listed. It's 195 bucks plus 1750 for shipping. That's very nice looking. It's un it's unlettered. It's got itself some basic gold. It's got a wagon top boiler. My only complaint is that the headlight is too big, but I'm sure that it could be replaced. But it's DCC, no sound, and we gotta get Thomas the spank engine first, man. <laughs> We can't buy more engines till we get Thomas the Spank Engine. Hello, Smokey. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> That's going all right. It's going all right. Currently, we just loaded up some cordwood and some logs. We're going to be climbing this hill. And I'm also planning to do a, str a second stream today. I'm probably going to be playing a non-train... <clears throat> a non-train game. But I might not do it on YouTube. I might do it on Twitch instead. I'm just gonna be vibing. It's going alright today, though. I don't like how easy it is for me to lose track of my mouse, though. <laughs> I feel like I keep losing it. My cursor keeps poofing into the void. Meanwhile, I'll be happy if my abstract cartoon proof of concept gets 10,000 views. Dude, I'm happy if I even get 1,000 views on a video. <laughs> Who needs 283 million? This engine is a little weak, so to be frank, I don't know if this will work, but it's worth a try. Uh, fingers crossed we make it over the hill, because we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna need all the luck and all the speed, because this engine struggled with two, two log flats, and now we've got all these four other cars in the back, too. Speaking of that, I'm going to start put it to put that into motion this year. I got a digital artist friend that I'm going to ask to make me some stills with proper payment, of course. Of course, of course. Money is important, and work that we cannot do must be paid for. The motto of my life. <laughs> okay, we're still at 13. We're still going. We're still going. We got this. Maybe. Probably. I hope. Yeah, we did it. We got over, boys. Okay, so... That means... Alka is, at the very least, capable of handling this long of a train. Good to know, good to know. Also, why did I change cameras? What happened? Durian is very much over here. Why would I change cameras to the one over the window? 
What do you think would be a good mid-sized engine for the game? For Railroader? Or not Railroader, sorry, Railroad's Online? It depends on what you think mid-sized is. Personally, I like going for the Cook Mogul. That's my go-to. Well, uh, the Cook Connie is also a decent choice, and... Excuse me, so is the, um... The Ruby Basin. Sleepy kitty. Very sleepy kitty. Cute kitty. Pure kitty. Excellent kitty. Kitty. <laughs> Just ended off with kitty. I could pet her. I also don't want to disturb her rest. What I need is that one three-foot gauge. Wait, there was a three-foot gauge 210? Oh, really? Ooh? I think I know what I need to model. <laughs> I know what I need to make. <laughs> I need to buy one of those uh, Russian decapods from Bachman. <laughs> and then transform it into that thing. <laughs> Thinking the proof of concept should have a sort of visual novel vibe with the stills and the dialogue box. I'm on a budget of around $2,000, which I hope is enough for the stills plus the voice actors. I hope it's enough as it's half my savings. Well, $2,000 should be more than enough. Um, it depends on how long your project is and how what kind of installments you make it in. Should be enough. Not that you mentioned it, though. Maybe I... <laughs> Maybe I should cut into some of my savings to get somebody to edit down my videos. <laughs> get somebody to help expand my YouTube channel. Pay people to make more art. Be wary, they require vodka instead of water. Could you... <laughs> uh... That was <laughs> potato water. They require potato water. They're part Irish, even though they're Russian. Random side note. Hey, if anybody's looking for an Owen 30 Porter, there's currently one for $95 available. It's DC. Just got listed. Buy it now. I think there's also a couple of other ones, but... Oh yeah, there are a couple of other ones. Most of them seem to be bidding, though. There's also a couple of DCC ones. No sound. So hey, if you want to buy a Porter, if you want a Betsy, there's a good amount of them right now. Go get them. <laughs> I don't know why I'm pointing this out, but I am. Porters are only popular because the railroad's line changed my mind. You're kind of right, though. Actually, no, that's not true. That's not true at all, Celestial. Now that I think about it, porters were popular before railroad's in line. Especially in 0 and 30. Uh, the reason is because they handle such sharp corners that they can. The small ones can handle six-inch curves, 
the large ones can handle nine. Although they can actually handle uh, seven inch curves if you if you make some minor modifications to them. And that's what's made them so popular is because these small little locomotives are very easy to, um, it's, it's easy to make micro layouts with them. And people don't have a lot of space, but they still want to do modeling and they still want to do railroading. And the porters are the best way to do that sometimes, actually quite often. Especially the 042s. The 042s are more popular than the 040s, generally speaking, because the 042s feel more substantial thanks to the fuel bunker on their back. They actually feel like full-on steam locomotives that you would see on a, a small railroad, and so they've been quite popular for a long time. I don't think they were popular specifically because they were porters, more so because they were the best options available and they and people did like them. I, I think Railroads Online popularized porters specifically, but porters in general as small locomotives in Owen 30 have been popular for quite some time. <laughs> Another poor financial decision on my part might be on the way for that porter. <laughs> Paint it up like Betsy. Get get a Bantam Model Works cab conversion. I mean, it won't be exactly like Betsy, but it'll be similar. <laughs> in May, I plan on seeing Maine Central 470 when she is in scene. Nice, nice. I'm debating if I want to include swears in it, as it gets, as if it gets popular enough, I'd like to have it shown at rare museum events or something. But at the same time, I want to have it be mature. You can make things that are mature without swears. It's difficult, but it's totally possible, dude. Um. <laughs> If anything, every time you think to swear, tone it down. Like, you can easily replace certain expletives and certain phrases with other ones. Like, for instance, what the F you can replace with what on earth. Or holy shit is holy cow, you know? You got options. So if you ever do swear, just tone it down. Bam. Easy. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not as easy as I'm making it out to seem by just bluntly stating this, but... Instead of what the F you could have. What in the wide world of sports? <laughs> exactly. Camera pans to a cow priest with halo music. Dude, that just said, that's just a family guy cutaway right there. <laughs> that's all that it is. What well, in the name of James J. Hill? Now nah, you'd have, you'd go for J. Jonah Jameson. Oh, I didn't. I thought I threw in a scoop of coal. I didn't.
Alright, I might end the stream early, by the way, so that I can spend a little bit of time eating. <laughs> if I do try and go for a second stream. <laughs> but also, more importantly, uh, I think I'll probably end it once we get the cordwood to its destination, which might take some time. I don't know, do we think we should stop off at the, uh, the iron mine? While, uh, after we... T -t Bleh. Brain. Do you think we should stop off at the iron mine so that we can load up on some iron and bring that along with us? Or should we just stick to uh, just doing the cordwood running it straight to the, the smelter? Pretty sure someone named <clears throat> their model railroad the J. Jonah Jameson lines at some point since I found several of their locomotives. Letter JJJ. <laughs> Missing cat cam? Oh no, the cat's not- the cat's there. Do you not see her? That's the cat. She's just very far away and in a place that she normally isn't. That's all. Stir arm reveal? I've revealed my arms before. I could even do a face reveal if I really wanted to, but I've already done one of those before too, so like it wouldn't be all that special. <laughs> face reveal! I already did one dingus. <laughs> So there is a Lincoln pin there. Stay so today years old when I found out BNSF stood for Burlington Northern Santa Fe. You only now realize that? You only now learned? Give her a little nudge. Cameraman is giving us more of a stirs messy bedroom reveal than anything. Look, I there's nothing I can do about that. Actually, wait, there is something I can do about that. There is Uno thing I can do. Okay. Camera's misaligned. This thing in place is a pain in the butt cheek. Okay. Ah. Ah. We love dealing with webcams so much. Okay, hold on. That better? No, that's terrible. Okay, hold on. I need to look at this from above. Okay, let's just start now. Hit the brakes on the train so I don't forget. Grab cat. Put cat. There. Cat. No, I don't want you here. I want you in the bed. <laughs> Should 
she does not want to go in the bed for whatever reason. <laughs> There she goes, there she goes. <laughs> Pain in which specific buttock? A port or starboard? Nah, the stern, but dumb tish. That's a good one. <laughs> Stir if he did boats. This is really funny that Durian doesn't actually want to get in the cab bed. For some reason. <laughs> she just insists on not getting in it. I don't know why. Please go on top of the computer. Be in a place where we can see the kitty. Yeah! She's going. She's doing the thing. Let's go. <laughs> How do you get your username, by the way? Didn't we have this conversation a week ago or something? Uh, it's because of Star Wars. Very, it's not really a very long story, but it's a sort of long story, in a weird way. Because of Star Wars. Next time she walks in front of the monitor, say, Durian, you are disrupting my ability to work. The next time after that, tell her to the moose, you little varmint. The problem here is that she's not in front of my monitor, though. She's in front of my keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's my issue. That's my annoyance. That is my uh, my irk. My complaint. Turn her around. I'll have to put her on the Y. Dynamic weather slash I was KFK. Unfortunately, I really hate that. If there's one complaint I have about the graphics of the game right now, it is that you cannot have a custom day-night cycle and dynamic weather, which is so stupid. Why? I don't want to have to sit in darkness for 15 minutes in order to have a day that's 15 minutes long. I want to... I want to be able to see what I'm actually doing. <laughs> why? And why can't I have snow and cool effects with that? Please.
kind of just bonked back there. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm gonna do is actually something a little stupid. I'm actually going to set this train on full steam ahead, full power, and I'm going to go and I'm going to rebuild the iron mine slightly. Because there is a certain piece of track that could use a redesign, or at least a lengthening. Because the trains are getting a little too long. Dynamic weather doesn't work at the moment, though? According to Steve... Really? Huh. That's strange. Well, that's even worse. Wait a minute. So we can't even have cool dynamic weather stuff? We just have to suffer and die? You know what, I've actually got a kind of cool idea for what to do here. Place down a turntable. Get ourselves a buffer. Make it go down. That is small grade. Go ahead and turn this till is about here. Place this. Lantern because I cannot see Jack Bezos in this darkness. And bam! <laughs> Total redesign, clearly. <laughs> okay, delete that. All the way out, delete the bumper. Then at this point, I think we've spent so little time building this redesign that we can just go down to the freight depot. Curious, has anyone seen the snow buildup that was added last update? Works on the old Pine Valley map? It should. I don't see why it wouldn't. Because it's not something about location, it's something about the tracks itself, you know? Okay, so the train is is this way. It has not passed the, the depot. It's somewhere over in this area right now, I think. Well, it's actually a little closer than that. It's probably around here somewhere. I'm looking. I'm looking at railroads and light extended. Um. <laughs> Well, 
We'll hopefully be able to get a really cool screenshot of it flying past. So how's everybody's day going? How's your day been? Nope, I hit J. I hit the button to hide the UI. It's not hiding the U. There we go. Okay, finally. Oh my god, why can we not hide that player interaction tip? Please. I want to take good screenshots. I don't want to be reminded of how to turn on and off the my, my things. Leave me be. For the makers of railroads and line extended, railroads and line shortened. Deliveries don't give money. No iron mine. Three local limit. Porters only. No grades more than one percent. <laughs> the perfect, the the sequel we all needed, but nobody wanted, and nobody wants still to this day. I'm doing a little shimmy to keep the uh, the stuff out of the way, so that once the train appears, those are some cool screenshots. All right, let's get in. It's train time, baby! I have this Mario Kart 8 McDonald's toy that I put on my room's roof with putty and it's still on my roof like a year later. They had Mario Kart 8 toys? <laughs> Hold on, there are eight Mario Karts. Yeah, there's more than nine. They got kind of lazy with the more recent numbering schema.
Turn left. Turn right. Wait, I got my directions mixed up. Turn right, turn left. Cut the reg. Slow it down a little bit, because we're going to be going on a downhill in a moment here. And I'm going to need to hop out to grab the switch after the train passes. Flat car, flat car, gondola, caboose, let it rip, TP forwards, where the f- Why is there no interior lighting in this place, dude? <laughs> Alright, throw the switch, so that the train actually goes around the loop. We have the reversing loop for a reason. <laughs> God, that from a kid at the elementary school I used to work at, all the kids called me Mr. Mario because I could do a near-perfect impression of him. Kind of miss working there, though partially not because they were overworked me to hell and back. Word of advice, don't become a custodian. It's a thankless job. <laughs> oh, God. The one memory of a custodian that I remember is the time that one of my friends tried to stink bomb the poor guy's car. I told him we shouldn't do it. He did it anyways. The only person who didn't get in trouble was the kid who did the stink bombing. <laughs> Admittedly, most everybody egged him on. I was the only one who didn't. But... I don't even know why so many people hated the custodian at that school. He was just doing his job and he didn't... He looked grouchy most of the time, but that's about it. There was nothing that he did. Not that I'm aware of, at least feel bad for him. It's the standard cart, the bike, the P-Wing, the circuit special, the circuit unimportant, the hand cart, the foot cart, and the Honda Accord. <laughs> God, right, I forgot that they had that, it wasn't it Mercedes that they had some crossover promotion? <laughs> Good lord. I still can't believe that they literally just threw in a Mercedes into the middle of their game. <laughs> Mercedes crossover was weird but cool. It's just product placement. You bought this game, now there's an advertisement in the middle of it. And every time you're unlocking your car, you better damn well know that it's going to be or not unlocking, when you're building your car, you know it's going to be a Mercedes. General Electric crossover. Now we gotta have an EMD crossover. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're gonna be driving an SD70 MAC. Alright, home stretch.
Pull up to Sunshine Airport in an E33. Pull up to Sunshine Airport in the GS4. God, the, there's a new Splatoon map that's an airport um, stage. And all I can think of every time I play it is Sunshine Airport. We're going to be hit by Mario Kart. Also, one of my friend groups hates Mario Kart, not because it's boring to play, but because of everybody accuses each other of cheating constantly just because of how bad some player's lag is. Like, it, it's a jokingly, it's a joking cheating accusation, you know, but at the same time, like, oh my god, the lag. <laughs> Take the centipede down Rainbow Road. I don't know why, but that sounds like... It sounds like an amusement park ride that got shut down after two months because of health uh, safety hazards. Clearly overshot a little bit, but... So we just need to back it up a tiny bit to load lumber. By the time we load lumber, we can probably start loading the hopper to... Fun fact, Elon wanted to, wanted to put Mario Kart on Teslas, but Nintendo shot it down for obvious reasons. Oh, good lord. That man certainly exists. He, he is one of the humans of all time. <laughs> Alright, so if we're, if we're sitting at 68 iron ore... 68... 58, 48, 46. That's what we gotta get to. Clear proof that common sense has left us. <laughs> so true. So true. And also that Twitter has left us. It's dead in the water. It's not coming back. Okay, 48. 47, 46. Nope, don't push. Pull. I find it funny how I never use the whistle in this game. I guess it's because it's harder to use than Railroader, and Railroader has really spoiled me. Potentially. Double check, make sure that we're clear back here. Yes, we clear the switch. We shall enable two handbrakes at 100%. And unhook the way car. Half the whistles are the same damn sound clip reused. Oh, I know, I know. Not like it's any different from ON30. Good lord, I, I have heard the Denver and Rio Grande Western whistle 70 times at this rate. I don't need to hear it 71. Please, give me the, the B&O three chime. Oh, 
Uh, let's change the weather. It's been enough time. Let's change it to clear skies. RMS Queen Mary Steamhorn on a border. <laughs> Get yourself a, an air horn positioned onto one of those trench engines. That's what we need. Put the Titanic's big triple whistle on the Montezuma. Yes. Yes. Make everyone in an 11 mile radius. No, the train will be there in three hours because the whistles used every ounce of steam in the boiler to blow once. Uh, we have to wait for her to get back up to steam. It also completely ruined the fire at the same time. We gotta wait for her to smoke back up again. Reverser, other direction. for chat what should I eat when the stream ends I'm getting pretty <laughs> I just got a really bad hunger pain while I was thinking oh what what should I ask chat to, to keep conversation going what do I eat <laughs> once stream ends what do, what do I go consume <laughs> Hello, Gordon. I don't think that's a food. <laughs> Though I would love to see a Hello Fresh parody where it's just Hello, Gordon. I'd be down for that. <laughs>
pizza rolls. That's actually not a bad idea. I don't think we have them, but that would be cool. That'd be fun. Soda. I wish we had soda, dude. I, I might have to go out of my way and get, like, a bottle of Sprite tomorrow. I guess my options are kind of limited. Eat an egg, a singular egg with legs? Why would... Okay, question. Are the legs hairy or are they standard shaved legs? This is, this is an important question. I might also have to send you an animation. <laughs> After the stream. I might, I might just have to send the animation period about an egg. It's great. It's totally worth watching. It's like three minutes long, and it's a song. It's not a meme song, though. That's the weird part, and that's what makes it so great. <laughs> Thighs, hairy, calves, shaped. <laughs> no... Uh, this is a terrible question to ask. Why did I why did I ask chat for an answer to this question? Alright, wake our link. Handbrake off. Pull forward. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, before we leave the iron mine, let me go ahead and make sure that we are set to the main line down here, rather than the passing to the turn around. Uh, excuse me. It's cordwood time, baby. It's also time for me to be annoyed that my keyboard can't accept more than like two keystrokes at any given time. Have you ever watched Binging with Babish? He recreates food from TV and games, and it's really impressive the kind of things he does. I have not seen that, no, Mario. The, be the closest thing to that which I have seen is How to Basic. And I don't exactly think that How to Basic... <laughs> I mean, How to Basic has eggs, does that count for something? <laughs> How do basic eggs have legs? No, not with that attitude. TK, they might have had legs before they were smashed into the wall. 
<laughs> Maybe. Perhaps. I just remember the video where a guy grabs a fish off from the grocery store shelf, says trout, and bites its head off. <laughs> uh, that sounds like a how to basic video. I know it's probably not because the dude doesn't speak, but sounds like one. Alright, home stretch. Man, we're gonna end this almost at on time. Let's go. For once, a stream that ends when it's supposed to. That's a mild issue. Um, <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Where the the heck? How long ago did we lose these? Oh, we lost those very long ago. Oh boy. Put it slightly behind the train. Need to pick up Void Train at some point. I love the fantasy space train dealio. I mean, my profile picture is that. It's not very much of a train game. It's more of a... How would I describe it? Um... How would I describe it? It's not really quite a survival game. I mean, it kind of is, but it kind of isn't at the same time. It's kind of a crafting game, but there's this sort of pseudo-linear progression. 
they have to deal with. It's fun. It's a decent game. Would recommend. And it is space train, and that is what matters. Anyone else seen that picture of a van with a fish on the side labeled meat without feet? <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. I hate it. Also, I think you might be able to put the boiler off to one side once you unlock it. Amateur Shea Hour. <laughs> Not budget Shea. We have Shea at home. Someone needs to find that old Galaxy Railways game that existed back in like 2004 and revive it. Gonna be kind of difficult since it really only existed for like a year, but still, we need it back. It's kind of like the Rango game. Wasn't there a Rango MMO at some point? Oh, wait, it's Daylight Savings this weekend? No. No, not like this. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, there was a Rango game, TK. Did you not know about it? There was a Rango MMORPG. not aware of it until now, and I have an internet archive to scour. <laughs> should just move it by head a half hour and leave it. Yes, we should. Please, why do we have daylight savings time? Why is it still intact? Who allowed it to exist? Why do they have rights? <laughs> They're not going to have kneecaps for very long. <laughs> Also, that's the wrong spur to put the engine on. In the UK, it's the 31st of March on Saturday. <sighs> Why can't it be that way here in the US? Why can't we have at least some semblance of sense? And <laughs> Why does it just have to be a random weekend? 
I don't remember the random weekend. I remember the very specific end of month day. Daylight savings time was created by an entomologist who wanted more time to collect bugs, so he would clock every. He would set every clock forward an hour at his work to get off an hour early. <laughs> And then that got adopted nationwide, everybody. Don't mind me fishing, the ice cubes out of my ice water and chewing on them. Hey, honestly, fair. <laughs> you know, that maybe that's a question we need to ask chat. Hey guys, do you chew on your ice cubes or do you suck on them? Like a popsicle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is the only correct answer. Purely yes. Ice cube popsicle, you mean an icicle? No, nah, I mean a, I mean an ice cube popsicle. If it, you gotta have that on-brand Ice Cube Popsicle registered trademark. Come on now. <laughs> yes, I do. Hello, Gordon. God, when you say when you say yes, I do. All I can think of is that one YouTube poop I played on the last live stream. <laughs> the Volvic advertisements. Okay, one question. Why is the reverser and regulator separated by the brakes? Like, they both control speed. Why... Why are they separated visually? What's the point? I think I chewed on ice when I was really young, but I don't know. I remember that my sister used to chew on ice all the time. I think I tried to once upon a time. Actually, I don't. Maybe I don't even remember that. I could be wrong. <laughs> Piss you off, you specifically. <laughs> 
my life in a nutshell. Everything is made to annoy me and nothing more. There is no other purpose to life but to irritate st <laughs> Had some volcano rocks. <laughs> I'm filling my had some volcano rocks with volcanicity. You're birds, you can't say that. <laughs> my birds. God is stuck in my head now. Great. Handy dandy. Fa fine and fun and. Totally not a mistake and a plague on the earth. <laughs> All right, it is, uh, this is the last car we need to unload. <laughs> Hello, Tyrannosaurus Allen. That's a good screenshot, and uh, I think that's the end of the stream for today. We've been going for almost four hours. My handsome look. Oh, I never sent the YouTube poop, did I? I need to send that today. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you all for tuning in. It has been fun as always. Maybe I'll be streaming later, doing Splatoon on Twitch. Uh, I'll, I'll make a post in the Discord if I am actually doing that today. Um, just chatting and vibing. I must go commit food, and I will see you all on Sunday. Cheers, folks.